What drives the researcher? I think it's the motivation to help people do better. My lab is leveraging the power of genomics and new technologies to really understand the genetic risk factors that really drive many of the serious melanomas and neurodegenerative diseases and targeting those genetic risk factors. When you look for genetic risk factors, they don't affect brain overall. They seem to be affecting very specific cell types. When you actually study the brain as a whole, you're gonna have millions of different kind of cells that each one seems to be interacting with each other. Without getting the single cell resolution, you cannot really separate one from the other. What we try to do here is we try to overcome that limitation. Genomics is the technology that we can try to go at the brain and really find the molecular signatures that they're specific for one cell type versus the molecular signatures that they're specific for the other cell type. To really understand the biology of the different diseases, given that each disease seems to be affecting a very specific type of cells. The data is so high dimensional and they're gonna include so much information that we haven't even thought about. Our team is using AI to really be able to understand those molecular markers. This is very critical to come up with new analytical approaches and using AI to really let the data guide us to really find very specific disease signatures in a very specific part of the brain, in a very specific cell. Schizophrenia, which is one of the primary focus, we're still treating the disease with the same medication that we discovered, you know, by accident back in the 50s. With this kind of specific exploration, if we're successful, we actually can get medication that it's already made, it's already approved, let's say for uh, inflammatory bowel disease. We can repurpose and use it for clinical practice right away. If we are able to do innovative research and we come up with new ways, new treatments that we can really help a great majority of patients.